Hello and welcome to another educational video brought to you by Harrells. In this video we will be describing osmotic diffusion, which is the process by which polyon releases its nutrients. The first video you'll see here has two columns. The one on the left has cold water, the one on the right has hot water. And as you see I've placed two tea bags into these two columns and we're going to watch what happens. And the, the first thing that happens, as you may notice, is with regards to the water is nothing. You don't see any color changes. The water is still the same clarity as it was when we first put the bags in. But what's happening is the water is moving into the tea bags because the tea bag is drier than the water. The second thing that will happen is the tea will then begin to dissolve inside the bag. That is the same thing that happens with polyon. The water moves into the polyon granule and begins to dissolve the substrate in, inside. During that time frame, nothing is going to really occur with regards to plant response. As you see here, nothing occurred until now with regards to the color or the clarity of the water. That time frame is the time necessary in order for the water to move in, the, the urea inside the polyon to dissolve, and then the urea to diffuse back out of the prill. Now we've sped it up. This entire process in this video took 20 minutes and you see the flow of these nutrients of the tea coming out of this bag very quickly now in the hot water. While in the cold water, nothing is really occurring or you see this color, the, the color start to change but it's very, very slow. This is uh, not just analogous to the release mechanism of polyon. This is literally the exact same thing that occurs with polyon. Osmotic diffusion is the same process that occurs when we brew tea. That's the reason we use this as an example. So cold water, nutrients are still releasing but at a very slow rate. The other issue is the nutrients are still in the tea bag, in this case the tea is still in the tea bag in the cold water. It hasn't disappeared, it's still there. And if we warmed that water up, you would see that, that tea begin to release. And then in the case of polyon, the nutrients would begin to release once it warmed up. So didn't go anywhere, it's still there, it's still there to use. It's just the influence of temperature reduces or in increases the rate of release. And in this video, we have four columns, as you see here. All of them have the same temperature of water, but the column on the left, uh, labeled 1x, has one tea bag. The next column over has two tea bags, and then three tea bags and four tea bags. So the amount of tea in each one of these columns increases by one. And this will be analogous to the rate of polyon application. So this entire video is, is time-lapsed over 10 minutes, and you see the one on the far right, which has four tea bags, is already very, very dark and the one on the far left is less dark. So the temperature um, is all the same. We just see the influence of dosage. Now, why is this important? It's important because if we, if we pause it here, you can see if your nutritional needs are at 2x, if your turf or your plant requires the amount of nutrition that's equivalent to the 2x column, and we applied polyon at a 1x, uh, the amount that's in 1x, your expectations aren't gonna be met. The plant requirement, the plant need for nutrients isn't gonna be met and your expectations aren't gonna be met. You know, inversely, if your nutritional needs are at this 2x level and we applied a 4x amount of polyon, your expectations are gonna be <laughs> exceeded and in, in many cases, it's not gonna be a benefit to you. It's because it's going to push the turf to a point where mowing is an issue, scalping is an issue, and these things. So to get the dosage correct with polyon is paramount. It's, it's important, and you can see the influence here in these columns. The third video is the influence of coating. And now we need to adjust or manipulate the coating on those granules so that it releases to meet your expectations. And what, what this video is here, the coating influence, all these columns, again, have the same temperature of water. They all have the same amount of tea. But what I've done is I've taken a tea bag and I've opened it up and removed the tea in that tea bag, placed another tea bag inside that and folded it together so that column one has one tea bag, column two has one tea bag wrapped inside another tea bag. And the one entitled four has four tea bags and the one entitled eight has eight tea bags. So it's um, going to show the influence of the, the coating influence on polyon. This is all time lapse, I believe over 20 minutes. We see one coating starting to release two now and then four is starting to release its T, and now eight begins to release. The coating creates a, a barrier by which the water must move through, and the more barrier there is, the slower that movement is, or the longer it takes for that movement to occur, both in the bag and with polyon, into the polyon prill, and back out of the polyon prill. So the heavier coating it is, the slower it releases. Okay, so in order to meet your expectations, in order to meet the needs of, of the plant, we
take the average temperature for your area and we take the dosage and we manipulate the coating so that the nutrients released over that time frame that you're interested in are sufficient to provide a plant that meets to meet your expectations. Now, had I let this video time lapse for another three hours or four hours, what you would notice and what I noticed when I did it was that all the uh, columns end up being the same color. What that means is, regardless of the coating, the polyon is going to release the same amount of nutrient, whether it's thinly coated or heavier coated. It just takes a longer amount of time to release those nutrients, just as you see in these columns. To summarize, polyon releases by a process called osmotic diffusion. That process involves the movement of water from a wetter state into a drier state, the dissolving of that substrate, and then the diffusion of that substrate back across from a high concentration to a low concentration, the exact same process whereby we brew tea. The influences of coating and dosage and temperature must all be understood in order to provide you with the appropriate material to meet your expectations. Thank you for watching.